Have I got a great alternative to a very awesome niche fragrance? Definitely. From the House of Alexandria Fragrances, we'll be talking about an alternative to Bergamot 22 from Le Labo. Stay tuned. What's going on, everybody? My name is Joshua, and this is our channel, Sense Sense. To all the loyal subscribers who are sticking with me and continuing to watch these videos, to you people, I appreciate you more than you could ever know. And to all you new people who are maybe thinking about joining the channel and you haven't made up your mind yet, if you sign up for the channel, Sarah McLaughlin will save 47 injured cats and dogs in the arms of angels. Today we'll be talking about a fragrance brand that is known as a interpretation or clone brand, the House of Alexandria Fragrances. One of my favorite things about Alexandria Fragrances is they are not the best at anything, but they are top two or top three at everything. One thing that I will say they pride themselves on the most and I think sets them apart with clone houses and makes them number one when it comes to those is customer service. I don't think there's a brand out there that has, is as good as them in customer service. Having said that, I do think other brands such as Dua, Happy Land, uh, Genre, they're all great when it comes to customer service, but I just really feel that Alexandria is number one. But if you put that aside and you take everything else and you kind of judge them on it, they're really good at everything. I think their presentation is definitely up there. I think outside of maybe Genre, they're definitely number one. I think when it comes to the, the attention to the bottle style, I think they're right up there with Genre, which I think is another brand that's really good at what they do. And when it comes to overall smell of the fragrance and overall price, I think they're really, really up there. So hey, let's go ahead and look at the box. You got the name of the fragrance brand right here. As you can see right here in both languages, it has the strength of the fragrance. On the bottom, it says handcrafted in California, the amount of juice in both milliliters and ounces. It's got a neat little pull tab, and as you can see, you can open it up. It kind of has that niche quality feel, and it won't fall out. It's nice and snug right there inside the box. Let's go ahead and pull it out, talk about the fragrance, and haven't done this in a while, so get it out of here. Check out the bottle. I think this is one of the best bottles in the uh, clone world. You've got the wooden cap with the Alexandria uh, lighthouse on top it's got the nice sticker on the front it's a uh, rectangle in shape it's nice hard solid glass and it's not a decant bottle it's actually pressed and these are actually really cool bottles especially for the price you're paying for enough rambling about what the bottle looks like let's get to the fragrance and the fragrance from the house of alexandria fragrances that we will be talking about today is none other than sparkling bergamot Sparkling Bergamot is Alexandria Fragrances' take on Bergamot 22 from Balabo. This is a slightly earthy and green and fresh and zingy Bergamot. This opens up again very green, very fresh, and it mellows down into more of a citrusy, effervescent, easy to wear, and very approachable Bergamot scent. This isn't exactly Lolabo's Bergamot 22, but when it comes to fragrances that are trying to imitate that brand and that fragrance, this is pretty darn close. At this channel, we don't talk about percentages. We don't say it's 82% close or 72% close. We don't have a uh, strategy of how to do that, but I can tell you this much, when it comes to the price comparison of what this costs, this is easily the best clone on the market of that fragrance. When it comes to times to wear this, I think this will be perfect for the spring and summer months. I think you can maybe pull it off in fall, but then it'll come off a little too fresh in fall months and winter front months, all for our nice, sweet, decadent gourmands, which Alexandria has plenty of. When it comes to time of day to wear this, I think daytime and afternoon and morning time would be best. I don't think this is a late night fragrance. I don't think this is something you should wear to date night. I think this is something you wear all day. And by the time you get home, it's worn off. So if you want to just keep the same outfit on or you, you know, go straight to dinner from wherever you work at, this is not something I would put back on. I would put something else on. And what's perfect about this fragrance is if you put it on around seven o'clock in the morning, come around five, six o'clock, it's gone. So it doesn't last forever, but it lasts long enough to get you through a day. This is gonna work very, very well if you spray. You can't be that guy who goes, oh, one, 
two, I'm ready to go, bro. No, it's not gonna work that way. Maybe one on each side of the neck, one on each wrist, one on the chest, and one on the back of the neck. And if you're a woman or a man and you have hair, you can go ahead and spray it in your hair and it'll actually last very long throughout the day. When it comes to how it lasts, I would say the first two to three hours, you're going to get some projection. And then after that, it's gonna slowly dwindle down and get closer and closer and closer to your skin. Overall, longevity of this fragrance is somewhere between seven to eight hours, maybe pushing closer to 10 if you maybe do a one, two spray reapply about halfway through the day. It's going to get closer to a skin scent around the four to five hour mark. That's what I've gotten so far from the few times I've worn it, I've only worn it twice. But I can say it worked really, really well throughout the day at work and I was asked by more than one person these exact words. How do I get that, whatever that is? Now, the cool part about it was one was a man and one was a woman. So in my opinion, it is perfect because this is something that you could buy and you and your missus or you and your missus and you or your mister can wear these. It doesn't matter how you float your boat, both you and your partner can rock it. When it comes down to the question that always I feel is important when it comes to clone fragrances, especially since this was sent to me for review, is would I buy this? The answer to that question is yes, and there's multiple reasons. The first reason is I don't own Bergamot 22 from Le Labo. I don't have access to that fragrance brand anywhere near me, and I'd rather not buy it online because I find that Le Labo fragrances are part of an experience of buying them in person because they make them right in front of you. The second reason why is because when it comes to summertime, I think that this one is going to work very, very well. And I think that this is a little bit better than Commodities Bergamot or any other linear Bergamot fragrances. I think that this one is a lot better than those. And I think it's just worth the price per ml. And lastly, I just really, really enjoy this. Now, having said that, there are some other fragrances that I've received for review from Alexandria or I've traded for or I've traded away that I just would never buy. There are certain fragrances that just weren't my cup of tea. Fragrances such as Counterattack, fragrances such as, um, it was a rose fragrance, come on, it's, it's, it's not coming to me. I can't remember exactly which one it was, but to me it smelled dirty. Uh, there's, there's a few that I just didn't really care for. There's another one, it's an orange and vanilla blend. I can't even remember the name, but it was just not my cup of tea. But when it comes to what I feel would be the top five fragrances that I would purchase from Alexandria, this would at least at a minimum get an honorable mention, if not squeak in at number five. So if you're looking for a fragrance for the summer and springtime, something that's going to work really, really well, but not work really, really hard on your pocketbook, go ahead and check out from Alexandria Fragrances, Sparkling Bergamot. All right, folks, that about does it for me. Go ahead and leave a comment in the section below of what fragrance from the House of Alexandria you really like. Go ahead and leave a comment if you've smelled this fragrance before and what you think about it. And if you haven't smelled it before, why don't you go ahead and grab that thing. Alexandria Fragrances always has great coupon codes, especially on their website. And sometimes Hanny will hand me one that I can throw up here. So I'll go ahead and ask, but if not, guys, there's a 10% coupon that's always revolving on the website and the prices are already low as it is. So go ahead and check them out at alexandriafragrances.com. And while you're at it, leaving a comment in the comment section below, why don't you just scroll up just a tad to that red subscribe button, go ahead and click that subscription button. And while you're at it, right next to it is a bell icon. If you're already subscribed, or if you're just subscribing now, go ahead and click that icon. That way, when my videos come out, you will be the first to know. And before I forget, go over to Facebook and go ahead and join the Alexandra Fragrances Facebook group. I'm gonna go ahead and post about this video on there. If you go ahead and subscribe to my channel and you go ahead and comment on that video, Hanny will give away two bottles to two lucky subscribers, separate people. Go ahead and leave a comment in this video that you are subscribed and go ahead and jump onto that Facebook fragrance group and leave a comment on my posting of this video. If you can't do those things, I'm sorry that you can't win and this is gonna be US only. I appreciate you for stopping by regardless. And as always, and most importantly, I'll smell you later. Peace.